Peace and wellness, fam. Over the last 60 years, the systematic assault on the human organism is at its highest in the history of man. The introduction of technology. Technology is neither good nor bad in and of itself. It is the use thereof which will determine whether the technology is being used for good or bad. And many of us, we've been educated formally out of our minds, meaning our natural minds, our connection to the laws of nature. And this has caused some of the detriment to the human organism. Anytime that we replace or introduce something that alters the natural functioning of the human organism for pleasure, when you talk about the birth control when it comes to having sex without the possibility of having the baby is for pleasure. This alteration of the human organism has its consequences and this is being shown up now in the latter generations. Each succeeding generation has become weaker because many have been introduced and have used the birth control methods in order to not get pregnant but to enjoy sexual encounters i understand i ain't mad at you but you have gone against nature and anytime we go against nature and alter the natural functioning of an organism there are consequences to pay especially when you do it with chemicals that are not necessarily natural to the human organism and this has caused a lot of the diseased and compromised human organism down the line. This organism is compromised. You and I in this generation, in this age and time, are compromised human beings. And we have produced children that are even more compromised just because they have intelligence. Doesn't mean that their organism is not compromised. This is why we are so susceptible to disease mental, emotional, physical, all these things have exacerbated over the last 50 years and particularly over the last 20 years, it is out of this world. And this is in part due to the introduction of chemicals into the body that alters the natural functioning of the body. We have to become more aware of what it is that we are doing. We are creatures of nature. Nature developed this human organism. Nature put within the sperm and the egg a biological code that if it is not corrupted, produces the optimal human organism. Unfortunately, this human organism in this day and time is very unlikely that you find not one of us who have not been compromised due to the chemical assault that we have been under in various ways. And again, the male has become more impotent, meaning that the testosterone levels are down. We can't even reproduce at the levels that we did before technology came into play. This is going backwards. This is a reverse and the female has become more infertile and more susceptible to breast cancers, the ovary cancers, the PCOS. All these things are not natural things that happens to the human body that is living in alignment with nature and not being exposed to the chemicals that we are being exposed to. I know you don't want to hear it, but it's the truth. And again, we have been developed or we've been conditioned out of our minds. We have been taught due to the demands of capitalism and in part due to the necessity and the desire for women's liberation, which I have no issue with anybody being liberated if you are being oppressed or discriminated against. But what has happened is you have allowed the desire to be liberated to supersede the natural functioning of the human's 
development when it comes to the parenting of children. You have chosen careers over the natural feeding and nursing of the child for the first three years. I get it. Some of you have to because you're the only one there to provide and meet the demands of capitalism. Others simply chose not to because they have been taught or been educated out of their natural minds into a capitalistic mindset that birthing the baby and loving the baby is enough. This is good. You should birth and you should love your baby that you birthed. But at the end of the day, the only food for that newborn child for the first year really is the breast milk. And for the first two to three years, these connection between the mother and the offspring has to be one of the strongest bonds ever in order to develop a mentally and emotionally secure individual, an optimal human organism. I know some of you didn't get breastfed and you're doing just fine. I get it. I get it. You're the exception to the rule. Understand that. You're exceptional to the rule. And this is good. But the majority of what you see is the fallout from a number of things and getting away from the basics of human development. This is saying that the woman's place is in the house, in the kitchen, etc. has nothing to do with that um, foolishness. It has everything to do with the nature of which we as human beings are led to be developed and need to be developed in a specific way in order to optimize the human organism. And these are the laws of nature, not the laws of man. The development of the human organism needs breast milk, it needs breastfeeding, and it needs it for a extended period of time within the first two to three years of that child's birth. Excuse me. But yes, so don't come with that chauvinistic things. Or no, I love women. Women are the most important being, in my opinion, on the planet. We're all important. And us together, the male and the female, we, the biologically born male and the biologically born female, us together are the foundation for human life. But at the end of the day, the woman, she is the most important when it comes to the development of the generations to come. And when we understand that, then we'll start to develop better, stronger, more reliable, psychologically, spiritual, and emotionally secure human beings. And this is what we need in order to move the human race into the next hundreds of years in a good way. Peace.